up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve, just got back from my date with Matt. Um, yeah, sorry about that video, it was a bit bitty at the end, um, we kept losing signal, I think it was because Matt was driving, we kept dropping off. Um, but yeah, just got back, um, picked up a load of stuff, uh, this is not the haul that I picked up with Matt, um, but this is another haul from the weekend, I don't know what it is, it's just a haul, it was from the charity shop. Um, but yeah, I'll go through... As I say, what I paid for stuff, um, what I'm going to sell it for, all that jizz. Um, yeah, anyway, first bit. I really like this top. Um, I think it's a jacket. It's Highland Queens. Um, it's like a shirt jacket. I've picked up stuff like that before. High, Highland Queen. Um, can't find anything like this on eBay. Um, when you Google it, there are stuff that are on Google. Highland Queen um, for about 40 quid. Um, because there is another one on eBay, I'm going to go for 40 quid. But um, yeah, I, I just think it's really nice. Just a really nice made jacket. Do you know what I mean? It's a ladies one. Look, no, I'm not going to touch the model's boobs. That would be inappropriate. Um, this cost me um, 5 99 I think. Not 100%. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to shoot for 40 quid. Um, I'm not going to do that thing anymore where I, I put the pictures at the end of the prices. It's just too much trouble. I can't be asked. Um, but anyway, yeah, this cost me five ninety nine. I'm going to shoot for forty quid on this lovely tartan. Look at it! Look at it! Uh, jacket. Sorry, guys. Just wanted to come back to this jacket. Um, as I've done closer inspection, I've found there's quite a few holes in it. I've got one up there, one up there. I think it's the other side of this arm as well. Give me a sec. Yeah, one up there as well. So I'm going to take the price down by quite a bit because holes are holes, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for 25 on this. Still profit. Still alright profit. But yeah, gutted. Because it just looks in general in great condition, but... When you have a closer inspection, there's a few pulls and holes. Oh, is that a hole? That's just a graze. But yeah, there's a few holes and graze, but oh well. Ah oh well. Up next is another MS blazer. Um, this is kind of a green, pure, new wool one. It's not a Collis one, whatever the feck you pronounce it, um, blazer that I normally pick up. Uh, what I've started doing, to be fair, I might stop showing you M&S blazers, or just showing you in bulk. Um, what I've started doing, I, I know now, with M&S blazers, I'm going to pick up, you know, around 20 quid or 25 quid on all M&S blazers. Um, I sold, well not all, you know what I mean, they're going to take a while. Um, but I sold, I'm selling the collars one, whatever, I'm selling those ones for about 28 to 30 quid now and um, your standard M&S ones for around 20 I sold one for 20 last week or, no, yeah one one for 20 last week um, I was going to go for 20 on this it cost me 349 Um again it's got a few holes in it's from the same shop Age UK um, but yeah this cost me 349 I'm going to shoot for 15 still profit oh well it's good about the holes up next, another M&S blazer. Um, the kids are back, so if you hear a kid scream, I apologise. Um, M&S blazer, blue checked, cost me four fifty, twenty quid. Not gonna go any more detail than that. Up next is this real form London dress. Uh, this cost me a pound. What I've started doing now is. Any kind of racks that I can see, if they're a pound or one pound fifty or something like that, I'll just start picking dresses up now. Um, just an experiment, see what happens. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm just the idea is, you know, if it costs a pound, even if it sells for four, it's, you know, what I mean, there's still profit there. But this cost me a pound. I've just researched the brand. Um, it's seven or eight quid, not massive money. But only cost me a pound, make about four quid off it, but yeah. Real form London dress. And next is this pure Una dress. Um this is another one of my one pound fifty finds off 
and the rail. It's like a long dress. I don't know if that maxi. I'll look it up after while I'm listing it. Um, but yeah, this is what I love about like these. Well, maybe I should have been doing it for a while. But this is what I like about getting stuff off like the one pound rack. I'm focusing on the boobs, aren't I? So, um, this is <laughs> that was on accident. Um, this is what I like about getting like these one pound rack, one pound fifty rack finds. Um, now doing research on this, pure rune is something that I'll probably look up a little bit more. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't really. I don't think I've sold pure rune before. Um, so, yeah, it'd be when I've looked this up. You know, dresses like this are going for like 15 or 20. Um, so I'm going to shoot for about 15 on this. It only cost me 150, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for Pure Runa from now on. I know other people have told me maybe Pure Runa isn't the best brand to look for, but if the if stuff's going for 15 to 20, I'll pick it up. Oh, England have scored. Get in. Go on, England. Right, up next, and you'll be proud of me guys, I've got this Scort, yeah, now I've done research on this, okay, I might have not done research on it, I asked my missus about it, she found one um, that was on next, and she said it's called Scort, so it's got, I'll show you the, look at her crotch, it's got shorts, Seem really creepy with this model tonight. I'm not being creepy. Um, it's got shorts and like a dress at the back. Um, you know, it's like swimwear. It's not worth anything to particularly to be fair. Um, found one just like it. It is atmosphere, I think, which is primarily, ain't it? Um, yeah, cost me one fifty. Should get about six or seven back. Up next off the one pound fifty rail, um, this Roman red the Roman Originals dress. Um, I had to check with Lex. I'll be honest, I just messaged her um, to find out about this. Um, I was thinking it was kind of a jacket because of the buttons going all the way down. Um, but you know, Lex is into a retro eighty shit, and she she reckons it's. Um, like a dress, but she said blazer dress or something like that. I don't know. I've only just learnt about skorts. Do you know what I mean? Too much info for one day. Um, but yeah, uh, looking it up, it's definitely more than I thought it was going to be. It's about 18 quid. Um, saw one that's like this that's going for about 18 or sold for 18. So yeah, £1.15 into 18. It is very fetching. I won't be wearing it or anything, but yeah, that looks like leopard print, but it's got a bit of green in. But yeah, cool. One pound fifty into eighteen on the blazer dress thing. Up next, this is my last dress, and then I've got one more. Um, <laughs> uh, because I've been send, I was sending a photo to um. Lex of that Roman Originals one I've just sent to this um, saying you know this is definitely my kind of bird um, I might, um, whoever buys this send a message like with a Joey, how you doing? <laughs> you yeah. know, anyway uh, I thought it was funny, but like her reply to this when I sent to it was what the F are you buying? <laughs> Lex is kind of like saying to me that she wants to go through all my um women cloud and listings and change all the keywords because I'm absolutely awful at it. I'll learn. But I'm too stubborn to let somebody go through it. Um, anyway, um this is an O Poly dress. Um never heard of the brand before. Neither did Lex. I taught Lex something today. Boom. Um so this is an O Poly dress. Um again cost me one pound fifty. Um these are going for about twenty quid. So yeah. It's a nice little number. Um, it's got like a seam line there. I've tried to pull it out, but when you look inside the dress, um, yeah, it has got a bit of a seam line there, but I think it's just a bit tight on the mannequin. Um, but yeah, should get about 20 quid, hopefully, on that one. fifty. And then last but not least, um, it's probably my favourite pickup from Wensfield on Saturday. <coughs> 
it's an Ava, I've never heard of the brand before, Ava Trix leather coat. Um, it looks beat up, but it's designed to be beat up, guys. Um, had a look, found the jacket, one had sold for 20. Um, no, one that looked like it had sold for 20, and then I found the the exact same jacket and it had sold for 40. Um, this cost me 7, and I'm hoping to get 40 quid, but I really like it. And I'm not a leather jacket kind of guy, but yeah, I do really like it. But I don't do very well on leather jackets, but I just thought it looked cool as shit. That's my rule. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. That was my latest haul video. Um, I don't know, I'm going to put it all together and see if it does seem boring. It, to be fair, either way, even if it does seem boring, I'm going to upload it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's my latest haul. I'm going to have a crap load of haul videos coming um, this week because... I've got way too many hauls that I've got to catch up on and I don't think I'm going to be going out all week um, sourcing after the weekend and today. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, that was my charity shop haul from Wensfield on Saturday. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I think the lesson learned is there's money in those 99p, £149 racks. Um, that I'll definitely be trying to take advantage of. But yeah, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.